Uh, welcome to part two of World Rights Center Math Basics Complex Analysis. Uh, for this part, we're going to cover uh, a little bit of complex differentiation. And so uh, we can define as the, the complex, the derivative of our function of a complex variable as. So we can write uh, derivative of f at z0 is equal to the limit as z approaches z0 of f of z minus f of z0 over z minus z0. And so this is also equivalent to saying So this is the same as saying f of z minus f of z0 equals some constant f prime at z0 times z minus z0 plus e times z minus z0. Uh, given that e goes to zero as the magnitude of z minus, as z goes to z naught, the magnitude of z minus z naught goes to zero. Uh, so to guarantee the that a function is actually differentiable, we can uh, use a neat little uh, property that if it satisfies the cauchy riemann equations, then it will be differentiable. And so writing uh, So the cauchy riemann equations are just uh, partial of u with respect to x equals partial v with respect to y, and partial v with respect to x equals negative partial u with respect to y. And u, uh, our function of a complex variable, we can write that as uh, u function of x, y, where so z is, a, z is x plus i, y, and so the complex and real parts of our function can also be considered uh, a function of two real variables, x and y. And so if, uh, if the function satisfies these equations, it is differentiable. And if it's differentiable, it will satisfy these equations. And so uh, to show this, first let's assume the function is differentiable and say, uh, So taking the difference of our uh, function, uh, first we're going to change. We're going to add some notation. Delta z is z minus z naught. Delta anything is that's something at one point minus that's something at another point. Uh, so delta f of z is also equivalent to delta u plus i delta v, and we're also going to write f prime z at z naught is equal to c plus di. So we're assuming it's differentiable at some point z naught. And so uh, writing out delta f of z, delta u plus i delta v equals delta f of z, which using our slightly modified form that implies the derivative, uh, we have f prime z naught times delta z plus e delta z equals c plus i d times z minus delta x plus i delta y, which is just delta z. Expanding this into a real and imaginary parts, we have c delta x minus d delta y plus i c delta y plus d delta x plus e delta z. And so the real part corresponds to our real part delta u. Our imaginary part corresponds to our imaginary part delta v. And so comparing the, these two and knowing that uh, dealing with differentials here, we arrive at So this is really uh, partial of u with respect to x, delta x minus partial of, plus partial of u with respect to y, delta y, 
same here. So comparing that with that, we have partial u plus partial of x equals c, which also equals partial v partial y. And negative partial u partial y equals d, which also, also equals partial v partial x. And so assuming that f of z is differentiable, we can show that the cartesian riemann equations are in fact satisfied. And so now uh, we can assume that these cartesian riemann equations are satisfied and show that f of z has to be differentiable at that point. Uh, so first thing we're going to do is note u and v are differentiable at this one point. Uh, delta u equals delta u delta x. Uh, partial u partial x delta x plus partial u partial y delta y plus these two uh, variables e1, e2, function of x and y that go to zero as x and y go to zero. So delta u the partial, the derivative of u respect to x is delta u dx partial of respect to y, du dy, these both exist. And same for delta v. And so now we can write uh, delta fz in terms of these. So uh, writing out the, diff, the delta f of z, z naught, which is just delta u plus i delta v, we have uh, partial u, partial x, delta x, this whole thing, plus i times this whole thing. And then making use of the Cauchy-Riemann equation, uh, we can send dv dy, partial v respect to y to partial u respect to x, uh, and the partial u respect to y to partial v respect to x. Making those substitutions here, we can simplify this long thing into something a little bit simpler. Uh, partial u, partial x, times delta z, plus i, partial v, partial x, times delta z. Uh, plus, uh, combining all the, these constants that just go zero as x and y go zero, uh, and then factoring out delta z, we'll get another constant that in fact goes to zero as delta z goes to zero. Uh, and so, Substituting uh, my command that stuff a little bit more, we have delta u partial u partial x plus i partial v partial x delta z plus h delta z <coughs> equals delta fz, or delta fz equals this thing is really our derivative that we're looking for, equals some number times delta z plus something that goes to zero. Now it's delta z goes to zero. So delta, so f of z is in fact differential at this point, assuming the Cauchy Riemann equations are satisfied. So they are a necessary and sufficient condition for the differential ability of a complex function. And so that proves this theorem, which is pretty important in, for, comp, for differentiating complex functions. Uh, thanks for watching. If you like this video, please check out the rest of our uh, videos in our playlist. Uh, thank you.